Hi, today I'm going to talk about collecting metrics from MinIFI C++ using Prometheus. In MinIFI C++ there are a lot of metrics implemented and those, those can be exposed to Prometheus for collection. There are different goals for these metrics, like showing the status of the data flow and its components, like the used vertices. They can be used to show the status of the agent, like resource utilization, uptimes, etc. And they can also be used to show the status of the device it's being run on, like the system resources used by that device. There are also different metric types. Metrics are grouped in metric nodes, which means that each metric node provides multiple metrics, and the user should choose which metrics should be exposed to Prometheus when uh, creating their configuration. There are two main metric types in MinIFI C++, the system metrics and the processor metrics. The system metrics provide information about the whole flow or the device it's being run on, while the processor metrics provide information about the specific processor. For example, the system metrics can be like the device info node, process device info node, metric node, which can contain physical memory, memory usage, CPU utilization metrics, which are part of the system level information. On the other side, we have flow information, for example, which is a metric node that contains queue data size, maximum queue data size, and other uh, flow related uh, information. We also have the processor metrics, which are a bit different. They provide uh, processor specific metrics that can be queried for each available processor in your flow. These metrics are provided by specifying the processor name with the metric suffix in the configuration, like tail file metrics and get file metrics. All of these processor metrics provide generic processor metric values, like the transfer flow files or the on triggering invocation count. But there are some processors that implement additional specific metrics, like the get file metrics that has additionally accepted files and input files metrics. So how can these be exposed to Prometheus? For this, you have to modify the MinIFI properties file, and there are some property options that have to be set, like the class should be set to Prom Prometheus Metrics Publisher, and you have to set the agent identifier that should be a unique ID for your MinIFI agent that will be shown in Prometheus as a label that can be filtered on. You also have to set the port for this. Uh, the default port is 9936, but you can set any desired port for the metrics to be published on. And you also have to set which metric nodes should be uh, selected. For this, you have to give a comma separated value with uh, metric nodes you want to uh, expose for Prometheus. After you do this, all the metrics will be available in Prometheus with the MinIFI prefix, followed by the metric name that is defined in the metrics MD documentation file. That documentation file can be found on our GitHub page. Let's see this in practice. For this, we will need to create an instance of the MinIFI agent and an instance of the Prometheus process. Uh, I will be running this on my local machine. It's a Linux machine. First, I have to configure the MinIFI. So for this, you have to open the MinIFI properties file and at the bottom of the MinIFI properties, we have set up the uh, matrix publisher, mat matrix publisher configuration options. As I said before, you have to create an identifier. I gave it a name matrix test agent. I set the class for Prometheus Matrix Publisher because we want to publish these metrics to Prometheus. And I also set the port to 9936, which is the default port for MinIFI. And at last, I also set which matrix nodes I want to uh, publish. For this demo, I uh, selected the device info node for checking device information, the flow information node for the flow specific metrics, the agent status and two processor uh, metrics, the generate flow file metrics and the log attribute metrics, because in the flow file I will be use, using these two processors. So let's see what's in the flow configuration file. I created a very simple configuration for our demo. It contains a generate flow file and the log attribute processor. I will be generating random UUIDs in flow files and the log attribute will be processing them and just logging all the attributes the flow files have. 
there's only one connection here. The generate flow file is routed to the log attribute through the success relationship. I also configured the Prometheus. Uh, it will be scraping every one second. There will be a job named Minify, and the target of this job will be the 9936 port on the localhost. So let's start these processes. I'll start Minify and Prometheus, and let's check what we have on the Prometheus's dashboard. After I started it, we already see that we have a lot of metrics with Minify prefix. Let's see what we have under the agent identifier metrics test agent. So here we have already the metrics we requested. And let's say we want to check out the device we are running on. So filter it for the device info node metric node. It has currently three available metrics, the CPU utilization, memory usage, and the available physical memory. If we check it on a graph, then we can see that CPU utilization is not that much currently on our local machine. It's about 20%. We also see the memory usage of the device we are running on and the available physical memory, which is a constant, which is about 67 gigabytes. But what if we want to see the agent-specific resources used? So we can filter for the agent status metric class, which includes all the agent specific information. And we can see that we also have agent CPU utilization and an agent memory usage metrics here. So if we check, for example, the agent memory usage, we see that uh, after the agent started, it stopped about 70 megabytes at about 70 megabytes. So it's using about 70 megabytes of RAM at, at the moment. So this is about the agent status and the device status, but what if we want to see our flow status? For this, I purposefully created a faulty configuration because we can use our metrics to debug what the problems are in our flow configuration. So if we check the queue information, for example, this is one metric we can use. For the Minify queue size is one of the metrics that can be checked to see what are the queue status. As we have only one queue at the moment, there is only one connection currently in our flow configuration. We see that the queue is getting full and it stops at 10. For some reason, the log attribute is not processing our, our flow files as fast as it can and the queue stops at 10. Let's see why is this. So if we check our minify after the queue size, we can check what are the transfer flow files, the number of the transfer flow files. We see here that we uh, have the two processors, the generate flow file and the log attribute processors, and the generate flow file generates much more uh, flow files than the than log attribute can process. So this must be the reason of the problem. Let's check our configuration again. So as we saw, the queue was stopped at 10. So the queue was full at 10. It, this is the, the reason of this is we have set the max word queue size to 10. So it cannot really contain more flow files at the moment. And the reason is what we saw in the metrics that the generate flow file generates much more flow files than the log attribute can handle. And we see that the reason of this is that the scheduling period is set to two seconds in the generate flow file while the log attribute the same property is set to three seconds. So this is the reason why the flow is uh, getting full and we don't process the flow files as soon as we can. This can be, of course, fixed if we change our scheduling strategy to event-driven in the log attribute. So this is another thing we can use our metrics for. And it's a thing that we have. We have this. So that's about it. I, I showed the, how we can use our metrics to debugging processing problems. And I also showed that we can see device and agents status as well in these processor, in these system metrics. If you want to see more, check out our Apache Minify 
C++ GitHub page. You can check all the metrics available there in our markdown file and check out any other examples if you are interested in Minify C++. Thank you. <laughs>